It's 8 a.m. Live, local, your Fox 29 morning news starts now. 813 right now, we are ending our series this morning on how to find reliable professionals with how to find the best bank. With today's conveniences like ATMs and online banking, you often don't think about the bankers who work behind the counter. But if you find the right one, well, it could mean more money in your account. Sherry Olafson is a lawyer and author of The Great American Do-Over. She's joining us uh, once again with some insight this time on bankers. Good morning, That's Sherry. Right. Good to see you again. Good morning, uh, well, uh, what is the first thing that you need to look for? when you're checking out a bank or a banker. Well, you're right. I mean, we've been talking about, obviously, how to find the right professionals. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that financially successful people build a good team, including their bankers. For starters, you need to look at the type of bank. So banks are loosely organized into two or three buckets. We've got those banks that specialize in consumer accounts, like working with you and I, mm -hmm. the ones that specialize in businesses, and then some banks combine both. And you want to think ahead, because if you're in a business now but may not be down the road, you want to be in a good consumer bank, too. If you're thinking about maybe opening a business, you want to be with a bank that can suit those needs. All right. What about specifically in a banker? What should you look for there? That's a great question. And the big picture in terms of your banker is you want to have someone that you're comfortable calling mm -hmm. and that you're confident that when you do call him, you know that he's going to try to help you. How many people nowadays would love to have a banker they could have relied on for help with a foreclosure or a modification or a short sale? So we're looking for the same types of things we look for with other pr right. uh, professionals. We're looking for credit credentials, meaning someone who is good at working with mm -hmm. someone like who has needs like you. Mm -hmm. We're looking for that click factor, someone who you like, who can potentially introduce you to other banking customers that might help your career as well. And importantly, someone who doesn't move around too much, because yeah. when bankers move around, if you've got to move your account, it's a hassle. Mm -hmm. And they become the low man on the totem pole at the new bank, not the person you want representing you there. Right. Yeah. You don't want to introduce yourself to a new face every couple of weeks. Now, what type of services should you look for? When choosing a bank? Well, banks, basically what we're looking for is two different buckets. One is what we call the channels. That's the way they deliver the services. So that's the ATMs, and we've got a list up on the monitor mm -hmm. for viewers. That's the ATMs, the call centers, the banking hours. A lot of these banks are open seven mm -hmm. days a week mm -hmm. now. The second bucket we're looking at is the products. So that would be the home mortgages, the lines of credit, if you have a business, the car loans, checkings and savings accounts, and we've got a list of those as well. But you also want to find a bank with local decision making and also a bank that has financial strength, not on the FDIC watch list, for example, and you can look at the bank rating services to check that out. All right, good deal. Happy shopping to the folks out there watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, we'll see you next week and next Wednesday. Sherry will be here with a real steal in real estate. Ought to be good. Roxanne?